Hey guys, this is Freezy14 with another video. This video is going to be on um, How to Survival Part 2, and I seem to be in the night. Oh, and there's a skeleton. That's, oh, that's great. Please sleep. Please. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, goodness me. Man, guys, why does this always have to happen to me? Ah, darn. Okay, let's go to sleep, guys, because if we don't, another skeleton is going to come. So, we are going to go over here, grab this. Um, oh, yeah, I grabbed that helmet in the last video. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to start mining. So... What we are going to need to do is... Oh, I already have wood. Okay, so we need to make a pickaxe. So what I recommend doing is making a pickaxe and a shovel. Because you never know what you're going to run into down... Down if you were mining. So... I'll just remove that. Okay, and it also helps out because then you can start off by digging. Like this. And the first thing that we should be looking for is coal. And coal plays a very important role because we need to use it in furnaces. And the good thing about that is that I have some uh, mutton already. And yeah, so we're going to collect some of this. And what I recommend is if you can't find coal straight away, uh, maybe try um, using some of your wood that you already have and making charcoal. So I don't seem to be as lucky this time with mining. Um, but what we will do is we will... Oh yeah, so we can make a furnace now. And let's just place that down. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Ah, guys, this, is, this isn't this is working out for me this time. Last time it worked really well, but, um... Because the first video... We got sheep straight away. But this time, no, it's not working as well. Um... But, once we set down our furnace... Um, I will make charcoal. So the way you make charcoal is you put, um, so if you don't have a fire source, I should have started off with this. So if you don't have anything to fire your furnace, just use some wood. Which, that's what I'm going to do. But what you do to make charcoal is you grab a tree. We grab some, some tree. And don't make the mistake that I did the first time that I played Minecraft, where I thought that I had to go out and find it somewhere, and yeah, you, you know how that turned out. So, what you have to do for charcoal is, so for the source, for the furnace, I recommend using wood at first. So, I'm just going to put in my oak wood planks, and what you can do is... Put in um, whatever kind of log you have. Don't make it into wood because then that won't work. But once you have this, it'll burn for longer. So we'll just let that smelt for now. And let's go and get some birch wood for the ground of my... Um, for the floor of my house. So, there's my house there. I see some birch wood over here. Yes, I know there's birch wood up there, but I don't know. It's just too hard to really grab that from up there. But, well, the opportunity is here. I'm just going to grab this cow here. Okay, and then I'm going to start chopping down these trees. And now that I've got stone, I can make a stone axe. But at this point, I don't really want to. Because I should mine more. 
but there's one birch tree and then another one is down here. Okay. And we are almost done. I think this should be almost enough to make the ground of our house. So, we'll just keep on doing this. I know you got to see me do this in the original video, but I, I like I like continuing the series because it's good for people who don't really know how to play Minecraft. And I remember that if I were myself back in the day when I first started Minecraft, well, I kind of, I, I didn't really know much about Minecraft YouTubers yet, so I didn't really know about them, but it would have helped if I did, because then I would have been able to um, learn faster, but you know, it's good to learn on your own sometimes. Okay, so, now we have some of that. Okay, let's just do... Oh, wow, that's a lot of wood. That should definitely be enough for what we're doing here. Okay. And now we need to also make some glass and a door. Which is pretty easy. And yeah, so we'll just keep on doing this. And then we will try and make a door to this place. Okay, we'll just keep on doing this. Okay, and now we can make a whole bunch in here. Okay, there we go. And now we are going to place down the rest of our wood. Oh, perfect. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're also going to do the roof of this place with some of this birch wood. And yeah, I should have enough for that too. Um, the good thing is that when you're when you're starting off is that um, you make your house small and then you expand from there. Because it's a bit easier that way. And, yeah. So, I need to find some sand. Which, most likely, there's some sand in here. No, I can't find any sand. But, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find sand so then I can make glass windows. So we'll just do that. We'll just keep on searching. Just keep on searching this way. I'm sure we'll find some eventually. And guys, I just wanted to share a special f fact. In um, Bedrock... Fallen, uh, this is the only place, uh, on Bedrock is the only place that you can really see fallen trees. So, that's, that's a pretty cool fact. I, I learned that a few months ago, which, that's pretty cool to know. And, um, okay, we'll need to backtrack to my house. I may get lost, so, just... Stick with me for a bit. There we go. And then we're... Oh, perfect sand. Okay, so we're just going to take some of this. And I'm planning on making glass plane, uh, glass panes with these. So what you do is you um, smelt the sand to make glass. Oh, oh that's fine. Um, and then what you do is you... I can't really... I think it's... Put them into the crafting table and put them into a 9 pattern. I think so. Okay, so we'll just keep on doing this. Okay. I think 37 is enough. 
So we will keep on going. And we will head back to our house. Uh, I didn't... Oh, actually, I didn't really go that far. I could have just went straight there. <laughs> well, that's fine, though, guys. We'll just keep on doing this. And what we're going to do, actually, is use uh, some of these to make some torches. Which will require that. And then we'll just make... We'll make four of them for now. And then what we will do is we'll put one in this corner, one in this corner. And then one in this corner, one in this corner. And, okay, we need to act fast, guys. The, the sun is going down again. And we need to uh, make a door at some point. And it's good that I'm doing this. Actually, I'm going to take that out of there. And we will do that. Okay, and now we will um, now uh, take a look at how the windows are doing uh, once again. And, oh wow, that's a lot of windows. So, let's see, we're going to make some glass panes. And actually, that should be enough. Okay, take this out of here. And now, yeah, definite, this is definitely enough. Oh, sorry. Oop. Up. There we go. We'll just set those in. We'll just do that. Do this. We'll do this. Like this. Okay, and now I have a good idea for the door. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to use this axe. And yes, tools can break. After a certain amount of uses. But that's no big deal for me. Because I can make as many uh, wooden tools as I want. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And then we are going to do this. Put those in. And wow, that looks really good. So, Mr. Sheep, don't go in. <laughs> don't you dare, Mr. Sheep. Yeah, I know, I'm very funny. I don't know why I've been making so many sheep jokes. It's just, like, hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. And what we are going to do is we're going to make one of these doors. So the thing is, is that at night, you have to be careful because of zombies. And, yeah. Because uh, zombies can break down doors. And, yeah. So, this, um video is coming to an end and yeah so this is how far we've gotten um i should be making videos every weekend and posting them on the weekend but if i don't um i'll try to do it in the week but yeah so uh this is the end of the video and i will see you guys next time bye